What's going on? It's been a real long time since I've done one of these videos, so... Uh... I got a new helmet! It's a new helmet! Look at that! Look. So... I got a Bell Moto 10 Spherical, I think is what I call it. Um, it's new! Brand new! I've had this helmet for... a couple months now, and... It really took me a couple months to figure out what design I wanted to put on it. I knew I wanted to put uh, kind of like the same teeth I had on my other helmet. But as far as everything else goes, I had no idea. And it really took me a while to get it. And I spent a good long time trying to figure out design, going through a bunch of different stuff I had ideas for and stuff like that. So I got it figured out now. And now we're going to try to paint it. I'm going to make it hopefully really simple for me to do. So what I did is I had Throttle Syndicate print me out some stickers to put on it. Um, the idea here is this is the same graphic material we use for all the uh, bike graphics except for I put no lamb on top of it so there's no lamb in it, the stick clear part of, um, that goes on top of the graphics. None of that so we just got regular print material cut out and um, the idea is I'm going to paint the helmet wet. I'm going to paint the helmet uh, in the spots I want to paint it and then I'll put the decals on, on top of that and then we'll clear coat over that and should be nice, flat, and smooth and should look pretty good, hopefully. Um, so right now, what I spent last night was I spent most of the night last night sanding this down. So it's all sanded down. Now I'm going to tape off what I want to paint, spray it. I'm actually going to spray two colors. I'm going to do red and black. And then um, after that, we'll do a clear coat. I'll put the decals on top of that and sand it down. I'll do a clear coat, sand it, decals, clear coat, sand it, clear coat, clear coat, and uh, should be good to go at that point. So, actually, I'm gonna get to laying tape down, figuring out where I'm gonna put decals are gonna go, and where to put my paint lines, and uh, really go from there. So, hopefully, this works. It's gonna take me a little bit to figure that part out, though. So.
All right, I got my helmet all taped up. So pretty much everything you see there is either gonna be black or red. Um, once I get it sprayed, I'll I'm gonna probably spray a primer on it first. And then we'll spray, probably just spray it with the red and then the black part and probably go from there, so. I also got the visor, I sanded it a little bit and you clean, the, clean that off and then uh, same thing, we're gonna spray this with some primer and then we'll spray it red and then tape the red off and spray it black. It's only gonna be a little bit of red on here, so. Yeah, let's get to it. Okay, so, uh, I didn't record me spraying black, I got black on there now, and I spent most of the last night after racing, and today at work, or someone's day at work, um, putting a couple coats of clear on it, so this is where we're at. There's some imperfections, I had a, like, some, like, uh, wrinkling effect and stuff like that going on, because I sprayed the clear coat on. Um, too soon and too thick and it bottom layer the top layer is drying faster than the bottom layer so I had to sand it down a couple of times to get it better so we're, a little, we're good now and now I'm gonna put my decals on so I'm just gonna put them on and go, you'll see <laughs> anyways put the decals on now and then we'll do the final layers of the clear coat with the actual better clear coat this was just some regular stuff I had in a can or I can use some other stuff I can use, actually use the spray gun for and use like it's like a better hopefully a better grade automotive clear coat um, that should hopefully hopefully hold up to um, getting rocks thrown at <laughs> so uh, yeah like it it started off as a matte finish so so far, I'm happy. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. 
So I already did one clear coat yesterday and it came out actually pretty good. But there's some spots I want to touch up and I'll do a second clear coat today and then let it sit and cure for however long and then hopefully be able to wear it tomorrow maybe. <laughs> Um, 
It's been a few weeks since I filmed the last like, the last few parts. Um, things I didn't film, I didn't film me putting on all of this. <laughs> um, also didn't really film me doing the fin. I had to make a whole new fin um, from the other helmets. This one's completely different. And like the other one wouldn't fit, it's different size. And, and really that's the reason why it took me so long to actually get the helmet painted and, and start working on it. But yeah, I did the whole leopard pattern for the most part. Um, it, it came out pretty good. I'm actually really happy with the way it came out. I've worn it a bunch of times uh, since we kind of finished it. It's still not really done. I need to send it down one more time and do one more clear coat because some of the clear coat in here didn't really go on too well. Um, it, it's on, it, it works pretty good, and I've already had a few chips in the front. <laughs> um, so I touched it up and clear coat a little bit, but other than that, it's been great. I've had, I'm very happy with it. I like the way it looks. And it's a little departure from the other helmets that I've done in the past. So I think not too much of a departure, I and mean, it still has the same overall shark teeth in the eye, um, but just overall color, like these two are all very red. This one is still red, but not as much. Um, and yeah, you can also see the definitely for sure way different teeth and eye. It's way bigger compared to this one with the smaller eye, sitting with this one with the smaller eye, so it's it's been, <laughs> it's definitely a departure. Um, but it's 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 progress and these are the, not the, these are three of the four helmets. I, I painted one other helmet and that's the helmet I crashed and broke my arms in and I still have it. It's just not in the condition I <laughs> had it in. And uh, so these ones, these two have definitely seen their time. Um, I'm on the second visor over here with this one. And this one's all sorts of beat up. So, but yeah, I'm really happy with the way my new helmet came out. Um, I already want to do another one. <laughs> we're gonna stick with this one for now and probably do just do my last one clear coat on it early and other than that it's done and I've been wearing it for the last shoot yeah I've been wearing it for the last month or so so very happy with it very happy with it looks and uh, yeah probably gonna go doing this uh, idea as far as just painting what I need to paint and then playing decals over it. I know it's cheating for the most part. I mean, both of these helmets were, both of these are all paint. I did all paint with all these, except for like the logos. But all these are, these are both just all paint. This one's a little bit cheaty, but for this kind of helmet and for what I, what I'm doing with, you know, the limited stuff I have and really the, uh, the amount of abuse these helmets are gonna take and these two helmets do take, like this one's, taken a ton of abuse and that's still all paint up front but now if I you know if something hits you know any of the teeth or anything like that it's actual decal so it's less likely to chip and flake off or if it does it's less likely to lose any color so but yeah I'm, I'm, quite, I'm quite happy with it I will probably do another one hopefully soon maybe not a moto helmet maybe something different but I am I'm quite quite pleased so if you guys like this video, hit the like button if you haven't yet. Subscribe. Thanks for watching. As always, I will see you guys in the next one.